Hello, all you amazing people out there, and welcome to a special episode of My Media Museum. We're going to tear through a stack of dancing disco 45s that I had at the end of the A to Z sorted collection, and we're going to get right into it here with BG's Staying Alive with the B side of If I Can't Have You. Don't want nobody, baby. I believe that was also in um, Saturday Night Fever. And I got a second copy of it here, but I kind of just really wanted to show off the sleeve. The, the vinyl inside is the exact same, so no reason to rehash that. Then we've got a very cool Casablanca Disc Corporation of the Philippines. Now, I know I showed a Disc Corporation of the Philippines recently, but it wasn't with the Casablanca background. So that makes it even cooler in my opinion. And it is a, an RSO vinyl in the sleeve with the BGs doing Night Fever. Night Fever. And beside being down the road. I'm gonna go kind of quick because I want to get through this whole stack in one episode. So I don't want to get too chatty. But I did want to mention that Stand Alive if you haven't heard Dweezil Zappa and Ozzy Osbourne's version of Staying Alive, you should look that up because it's definitely great. It's quite a, quite a, quite a hoot. All right, next one is How Deep Is Your Love? Is Your Love? Is Your Love? Your Love? I really need to know. And the B-side being Can't Keep a Good Man Down. So, now we're moving on to Motown with the Commodores. Three times a lady, and I love you. And a B-side was a song called Look What You've Done to Me. So, next up, we've got the bajillionth copy that I have of Tie a Yellow Ribbon Around the Old Oak Tree with Dawn featuring Tony Orlando. Now, I have a number of different versions of this. Some of them say Tony Orlando and Don. Some of them just say Don. And some of them say Don featuring Tony Orlando. So it was definitely Orlando. Excuse me. Tony Orlando. I said Orlando. Um, There's one of my mispronunciations that uh, <laughs> I try so hard to avoid. But Orlando. Um, B-side being, I can't believe how much I love you. But yeah, there's, there's you, you can find this one with all three of those different ways of them crediting the artist on. All right, next up we've got Donna Summer. Should probably put this in that Casablanca sleeve. Uh, Last Dance. And from the motion picture soundtrack, thank God it's Friday. And what a hoot that film is. I went back and watched that a couple of years ago after not having seen it since the uh, 70s. And uh, yeah, if you like like Jeff Goldblum, it's, it's cool just to see it for that. But uh, it's definitely dated. It's definitely... A, a period piece. Uh, B-side being another song for that same soundtrack, With Your Love, which is actually a, a pretty decent song from Donna. All right, now we're getting up into the 80s here with some uh, something a little different. Falco doing Rock Me Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus, Rock Me Amadeus. Not my kind of thing, but I do know the song. I do remember it. I, I think I recall seeing it on um, MTV, played uh, rather quite a bit. And what's interesting on this one is that the B-side is the Canadian version of Rock Me Amadeus. Now, how the Canadian version differs from the American or standard version, I don't know. But you got the American edit and the Canadian version. So... If you're a big Falco fan, you probably know. Feel free to comment in the section down below and let us know because I don't know what the difference between those two versions are. Next up, we've got Miss Janet Jackson, the nasty Super Bowl girl. <laughs> and uh, beside here of the picture sleeve, a little bit of different kind of artwork. But the uh, label, it's got that old nasty glue be bleeding through on it. Um, you can see the vinyl looks really nice. And the label is undamaged. It's just that glue coming through on it there. And the B-side doesn't look a whole lot better. 
But it's a song you'll never find Another love like mine And I don't believe that she did that song originally I um, believe that this is a cover song for her uh, If it's the same song, but I can't imagine it not being the same song uh, Next up we got Cool and the Gang on D-Light Records Doing Celebration Time Come on! It's a celebration. And the B-side being Morning Star, which I don't know. Easy to confuse that with Shining Star, but that's a different uh, thing altogether there. But we definitely know this next one up here. Ladies Night, oh, what a night, oh, what a night. <laughs> yeah, the disco era. You know, I, I, I've commented quite a few times. I'm not going to talk bad about disco, because being that this is going to be a dance and disco episode, it's going to draw people that want to see and hear and talk about disco and dance. But where I grew up, we had a rock station, a country station, and a gospel station. And when disco came out, they switched the rock station over to disco, and that was one of the nails in the coffin for me not liking disco, because I had to start going out and buying everything I wanted to hear and listen to, so, yeah. We got two copies of Ladies' Night here, slightly different coloring, but uh, not much, and it's got the same if you feel like dancing on the B-side on both copies there. So, next up, you don't get much more dance than Madonna, and here we've got an original Madonna, Lucky Star. You must be my lucky star. I know that's an early Madonna song. Um, unfortunately, they didn't stamp the year on here, but that's... Oh, 83, duh. It is stamped right there. Okay, 1983. So, yeah, that's definitely an early Madonna song. And I remembered, you know, getting liquored up and dancing to that song with the girl uh, one night. But uh, B-side being a song, I know it. I don't know it. I'm not a Madonna fan. Um, but, you know, you couldn't go to a club back in the 80s, especially the mid-80s, and not hear Madonna. And they were definitely going to be playing Madonna songs. And here's a uh, picture sleeve for a song that she did off of the Vision Quest soundtrack, which uh, has some other really good tunes on there as well. Um, it's it's noted a bunch of them here, but it's such small print. I don't think I can focus on it. don't think I can see it even. Uh, it's really small print and kind of blurry. So the printing itself is blurry. So, But here we've got this uh, Crazy For You song off of that motion picture soundtrack. And the B-side being a song by Berlin that was probably, more than likely, also in that... Uh, motion picture uh, soundtrack for Vision Quest. But no more words. I know that song. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I do know that song. Don't have much to say about it, but I do know that song. Like I said, dance music and disco music is really not my thing. Uh, but everybody knows YMCA, and I have so many copies of the Village People uh, YMCA. They pop up all the time in mix boxes that I would pick up here and there. Um, if you got one disco disc in there, this is sometimes it. And the B-side was a song called Women, or Woman. And I uh, don't know that one, but I definitely do know this next one because it's another one that pops up a lot. And a lot of times you have both of them back to back in the box, just like we do here. In the Navy, you can sail the seven seas in the Navy. Yeah. With a B-side being Manhattan Woman. So it's interesting that uh, YMCA had woman, and in the Navy they specified Manhattan Woman. <laughs> Got a little more specific there. So it's an interesting CBS sleeve there. It's not what the vinyl is. The vinyl is Peaches and Herb. Shake your groove thing, shake your groove thing, shake it! So yeah, if, if this video gets a lot of interest, I've got a lot more disco. I've got boxes, actually a couple of boxes of nothing but disco stuff that I really don't have a strong appreciation for and don't even recognize a lot of the songs. But I do have quite a bit of disco 
Uh, country and Western too, I hate to admit it, but uh, they just come along in the mixed boxes that you purchase and that's what you end up with. Um, so maybe I'll do videos of them. Uh, I was going to throw the Country and Westerns away or give them to somebody and the wife was like, no, you ought to document them, put them up on the channel. There'll be somebody that'll appreciate them. And yeah, maybe songs here or there, but uh, I, I probably will before I part with them. I'll at least document them. So B-side here being All You Love, Give It Here, which isn't a song I know. But if you want to see more disco, then definitely give me some thumbs up. Um, say so in the comment section down below. Let me know. Give me some encouragement because um, it's not something that I have a real strong urge to uh, do. But I can. I could do if you wanted to see them. And it'd be like this. They'd be much faster paced. You know, do a whole bunch in 12 minutes as opposed to me uh, getting stuck down in facts and 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 things that I know about the songs, because I won't know a lot about them. Uh, here, On My Own by Patti LaBelle and Michael McDonald. I know Michael McDonald from the Doobie Brothers, and I've heard of Patti LaBelle. This isn't one of her songs that I know, but it's the A side, uh, and the B side is a song called Stir It Up. So this is a perfect example. I've got tons and tons of stuff like this, boxes of stuff where I might even know, the, I might know the artist, but I don't know the songs, and uh, you know, I could share them with you if there's a strong interest. Just let me know. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the channel. I hope you enjoyed that quick overview of some dance and disco vinyls. And uh, have a great day. Shake your groove thing.